should be only influenced by your conscience to that degree as your conscience is influenced by the Word of God. There's a big deception when it comes to taking care of your conscience and that is this. Follow your conscience people say. That can only be applied if your conscience follows the Word of God. If the Word of God is not influencing your conscience then following your conscience is the same thing as following a wheelbarrow. When you follow a wheelbarrow you're directing it and you're following it. So you're over here patting yourself on the back saying I am following a wheelbarrow. I am following my conscience. My conscience told me to sleep with that guy and therefore it must be from God. Because my conscience told me to also give my meal to the homeless man who stands by Winko. And so if my conscience said this and if my conscience tells me to look at this pornography and this is good, then this must be good. And you put your conscience above God but your conscience does not depend on the Word of God. That your conscience is in the hands of your flesh, not in the hands of the Holy Spirit. And it is dangerous to follow it. You can only follow your conscience to that degree that your conscience is submerged into the Word of God. A conscience without the Word of God is a courtroom without a judge. It's pointless and following it is actually following a sick, sin-filled, devil-led heart. And you may pat yourself on the back and you may get a lot of likes on Instagram for that quote but listen you will go straight to hell because your conscience if it's seared, if it's a mess, if it's not connected to the Word of God, it's going to guide you off the road and you will not get to the right path. And therefore the goal today is make sure my conscience is trained by the Word of God and then I can trust my conscience to lead me in the right path.